Marcus, Mark 9. And he said unto them, Amen, I say unto you, that there be some of them that stand here, which shall not taste of death, till they have seen the kingdom of Yahuwah come with power. And after six days, Yahusha takes with him Kepha and Yaakov and Yahuchanan, and leads them up into a high mountain apart by themselves. And he was transfigured before them. And his raiment became shining, exceeding white as snow, so as no fuller on earth can white them. And they appeared even, rather, and they appeared unto them, rather, and there appeared unto them Eliyahu with Moshe, and they were talking with Yahusha. And Kepha answered and said to Yahusha, Rabbi, it is good for us to be here, and let us make three kukov, one for you, and one for Moshe, and one for Eliyahu. For he knew not what to say, for they were sore afraid. And there was a cloud that overshadowed them, and a voice came out of the cloud, saying, This is my Yahid, hear him. And suddenly, when they had looked round about, they saw no man any more, save Yahusha only with themselves. And as they came down from the mountain, he charged them that they should tell no man what things they had seen till the son of Adam were risen from the dead. And they kept that saying with themselves, questioning one with another what the rising from the dead should mean. And they asked him, saying, Why say the scribes that Eliyahu must first come? And he answered and told them, Eliyahu indeed comes first and restores all things. And how it is written of the son of Adam that he must suffer many things and be sought at naught. But I say unto you that Eliyahu is indeed come, and they have done unto him whatsoever they willed, as it is written of him. And when he came to his Talmudim, he saw a great multitude about them, and the scribes questioning with them. And straightway all the people, when they believed, rather beheld him, were greatly amazed, and running to him, saluted him. And he asked the scribes, What question ye with them? And one of the multitude answered and said, Rabbi, I have brought unto you my son, which has a dumb ruach, and wheresoever he takes him, he tears him, and he foams, and gnashes with his teeth, and pines away. And I spoke to your Talmudim that they should cast him out, and they could not. He answered him and said, O oh, unbelieving nation, how long shall I be with you? How long shall I suffer you? Bring him unto me. And they brought him unto him, and when he saw him, straightway the Ruach tore him, and he fell on the ground and wallowed foaming. And he asked his father, How long is it ago since this came unto him? And he said, Of a child. And oft times it has cast him into the fire and into the waters to destroy him. But if you can do anything, have compassion on us and help us. Yahusha said unto him, if you can believe, all things are possible to him that believes. And straightway the father of the child cried out and said with tears, Adonai, I believe. Help my unbelief. When Yahusha saw that the people came running together, he rebuked the foul Ruach, saying unto him, you dumb and deaf Ruach, I charge you, come out of him, and 
enter him, rather, and enter no more into him. And the Ruach cried and rent him sore and came out of him. He was as one dead, so much so that many said, He is dead. But Yahusha took him by the hand and lifted him up, and he arose. And when he was come into the house, his Talmudim asked him privately, Why could not we cast him out? And he said unto them, This kind can come forth by nothing but prayer and fasting. And they departed thence and passed through Galil, and he would not that any man should know it. For he taught at his Talmudim and said unto them, the son of Adam is delivered into the hands of men, and they shall kill him. And after that he is killed, he shall rise the third day. But they understood not that saying, and death were afraid to ask him. And he came to Kafarnachum, and being in the house, he asked them, What was it that ye disputed among yourselves by the way? They held their peace, for by the way they had disputed among themselves who should be the greatest. And he sat down and called the twelve and said unto them, If any man desire to be first, the same shall be last of all and servant of all. And he took a child and set him in the midst of them. And when he had taken him in his arms, he said unto them, Whosoever shall receive one of such children in my name receives me. And whosoever shall receive me receives not me, but him that sent me. And Yehuchanan answered him, saying, Rabbi, we saw one casting out devils in your name. And he follows not us, and we forbade him, because he follows not us. But Yahusha said, Forbid him not, for there is no man which shall do a miracle in my name that can lightly speak evil of me. For he that is not against us is on our part. For whosoever shall give you a cup of water to drink in my name, because ye belong to HaMashiach, Amen, I say unto you, he shall not lose his reward. And whosoever shall offend one of these little ones that believe in me, it is better for him that a millstone were hanged about his neck and he were cast into the sea. And if your hand offend you, cut it off, it is better for you to enter into life maimed than having two hands to go into gay hinnom, into the fire that never shall be quenched. Where their, rather, where their worm dies not and the fire is not quenched. And if your foot offend you, cut it off. It is better for you to enter halt into life than having two feet to be cast into Gehinnom, into the fire that never shall be quenched. Where their worm dies not, and the fire is not quenched. And if your eye offend you, pluck it out. It is better for you to enter into the kingdom of Yahweh with one eye, than having two eyes to be cast into the fire of Gehinnom. where their worm dies not, and the fire is not quenched. For every one shall be salted with fire, and every sacrifice shall be salted with salt. Salt is good, but if the salt have lost his salted, rather his saltness, wherewith will ye season it? Have salt in yourselves, and have peace one, with another.